Hi, I'm Howlin' Blackest, an author of Beekeeping for Dummies. Here's the package of bees that we're going to install into our new hive. The queen and her attendants are in the package, plus around 10,000 worker bees and a handful of drones. By midsummer, the colony will blossom into well over 60,000 bees. The installation process is called hiving the bees. You'll want to hive your bees in the late afternoon on the day you receive them or certainly not more than a few days after they arrive. First, let's set up the hive that will become their new home. We have a hive stand, a bottom board, a deep hive body with frames and foundation, a hive top feeder, and an outer cover. Remove the outer cover and feeder and four to five of the frames, but keep them nearby because you're gonna need them later. Place the entrance cleat in place using the smallest opening for the bees. Spray your bees moderately with sugar syrup. Now don't drown them, but give them a, a decent spraying. The syrup not only makes a tasty treat, but the sticky stuff makes it much harder for the bees to fly. Using your hive tool, pry the wood cover off the package. Pull out the staples and keep the wood cover handy. You're going to need it again. Jar the package down sharply on the bottom so your bees fall to the floor of the package. Don't worry, it doesn't hurt them. Remove the feeding can and the queen cage and loosely replace the wood cover to keep the bees in the package. Have a look at the queen cage. Look for the queen. Wait, well, hey, there she is. I ordered a mark queen so that dot painted on her thorax makes her really easy to spot. Find the end of the queen cage with a white fondant candy. If there's a cork at that candy end, Remove it so that you can see the candy in the hole. If the candy is missing, here's where that mini marshmallow comes in. Plug the hole with the marshmallow. Don't let that queen escape. Take two small nails that have been bent at right angles to fashion a hanging bracket for the queen cage. Frame nails do fine. Be sure to apply these nails to the candy end of the cage. Now hang the queen cage, candy side up, between the frame that is closest to the open area and the frame next to it. The screen side of the cage can face towards the front or the rear of the hive, it doesn't matter. Now's a good time to put on your veil. Gloves aren't really necessary, but you can wear them if you feel more comfortable. Spray your bees lightly one last time. Jar the package down and toss away the cover. You're done with it. Okay, here comes the fun. Pour and shake about a third of the bees directly over the hanging queen cage. Then pour and shake the remaining bees into the open cavity created by the missing frames. Gently replace all but one of the missing frames. That extra frame will be installed a week later when you remove the empty queen cage allowing the space for this frame. Now if there's a big pile of bees at the bottom, give them a moment to disperse before you push the frames down into the frame rests. You don't want to crush any of those little girls. The hive top feeder is placed on top of the hive body without any inner cover in between. Now fill the feeder with sugar syrup and place the outer cover on top of the hive top feeder. That's it, you're done. Take a breath and leave everything alone for one week. Remember, no peeking. The bees may kill the queen if they're disturbed before she's been released from the cage and the colony has become accustomed to her pheromone scent. Congratulations, you are now officially a beekeeper. You'll find more about this topic in the current edition of Beekeeping for Dummies.